Hey guys, it's Wayne Struby of Family Acreage Farms. Uh, got this uh, Job Max Flow valve here and the float over here. So uh, I just built this amazing water trough. It's 30 gallons. I uh, got it a free water trough, a free barrel. So I cut it and put these handy dandy handles in it. Use my jigsaw for that. And then I uh, cut. It's supposed to be a 7 8 uh, hole. I didn't have 7 8 I used 3 quarter and then I just kept wallering out until I got to the spot I needed. And it fits really well. Oh, I got to put it on the inside. So, water comes out on this side. On the bottom there. And just slide it on in there. And then I have it taped up. Hopefully I didn't put too much tape because it's a super long one. But uh, I have another piece that's going on the bottom. If it's too much, I'll just, oh, this rubber gasket should go on the inside. There we go. And then here's your washer. There's a flat side and one with holes. I'm gonna put the flat side on the on the towards the barrel. And then we'll just get her on there. Got lots of tape on it. What are you doing, Chloe? You having fun over there? Oh, hi, Mr. Dave. And you're only supposed to hand tighten. It says not to go over hand tight, so that's all I'm gonna do. And what I'm gonna do for tonight, I, I test everything, because I don't want this thing to leak out there, and I don't, because I don't like wasting water. So I'm putting it hand tight, and then some. Point down at the bottom. That's hand tight. Okay. And so you look in here, you'll see. You'll check it. Look in here, hun. That's the float. And then I'll tie this here. I'll tie this level. Look at the level here. It says it's supposed to be level with the top. Okay. And that'll keep it. It says nine. 70 millimeters, which is seven, seven uh, centimeters, I guess. So it's gonna be right about there. So I need to tie it there. Right about there. There we go. Get a few little half hitches in there. And I'll put a slip knot on there so I can pull it out later so I don't have to fight it. And we're ready to rock. Um, I also have the water valve that I'm going to put on there because we're going to test it with the water hose next. What do you think, Chloe Bear? There we go. This here. Already Teflon this up, but this is for the water hose. This is the side that goes onto that spigot there, and this side is for the water hose. And everything's just supposed to be hand tightened, it says. There you go, we're hand tight. All right, now I need to get the water hose to test it out. Mason's over there watching the other side, that's his new toy. Mason, I'm going to use your water hose to fill the tub up, okay? Go ahead and put it here in the driveway. So whenever I drain it, it goes down the driveway instead of all over. Uh, at the farm, I'm going to have this Teflon, and it's going to be a permanent one. Because that's going go to go to my glass on. What's that, buddy? And that's one thing that's really cool. This has a little locking valve on there, so it'll lock it in place so it won't run if you mess with it. Go ahead and pre screw this thing on there. Get her in. And now uh, watch Come on, come on. Turn, 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 turn. We're not going up. Yeah, it's not. The water's not even on yet, buddy. I gotta screw the hose in first, buddy. All right? Come on. 
Enough, right, Mason boy? Right, the water hose is tight. You want to go turn the water on or you want me to get it? No, you hold it up. I want you to get it. All right, hold that up in there to keep it off. You're going to get it. So, this is pretty cool. Look at this down here. So, it has a little hitch here that you can go onto so that it won't go while you're messing with it. You turning it on? All right, come on over. Alright, here we go. Mm -hmm. it's working. We have to hold it up. Yeah, it's supposed to float now, buddy. And there you have it. Let it fill on up. And we'll be good to go. What do you think, Clover? Mm -hmm. You don't know? <laughs> I like We'll make sure this is running well, and uh, of course this is on level ground right here either. We need to probably pull it up before it gets too heavy. Yeah. Come here. Oh, watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Yeah, I'll put these handles on here to make it easier to dump and just easier to drag. I won't drag it more than about 100 feet at a time. It's filling up pretty fast, and this is what's cool about it. I mean, this is what I have out there. This will, uh, it's supposed to do up to 90 gallons a minute. Uh, for this especially if you have uh, high water at one inch and we that's we have a one inch pipe going into three quarter right at the end there so it'll be blasting out this will be easily keep up with seven calves what i saw um eagle uh, we don't have too many eagles around here it's probably a buzzard no i saw one eagle one all right cool when it fill up a little higher it will i'm going to turn it on medium back <coughs> Is it that on camera? Ow! Is it all right? Ow! Ow! Turn it all the way on, as fast as it'll go, buddy. Okay. It's almost there. My dog already too. Ow! 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 Her little drama queen. Mm. <laughs> no, me and Brad. Running. Well, I'm also probably I won't dump this out till tomorrow. I'm gonna leave it like this because I want to see if it's gonna leak. I want to make sure this this, this uh, isn't gonna leak on the outside. And it's coming up. Then you make sure it turns off too. Turn up. It doesn't. Hey, ah, ah, ah. It go like a dip too. Yeah, it'll pull it all the way up and it'll turn off. It's supposed to turn off. It says 70 millimeters, which is uh, just seven centimeters. So it'll be right about in that area, I guess. Wow, you got Ooh, a good let me see it. There. Oh man, so strong. Man, you tripped right over my hmm? water hose. Don't stand on that water hose. Mom, no, we're doing a whole right, we're video. There. Look, we're getting there, Mason. Mom, yeah, you put a bandaid on that. Can you stop for we a will. Yeah, I hope that you. I read it, my dad. I need to read it on my bed. You reading out? Look. Still flowing. Yee. It's gonna be up there, ain't it? And you can make the, the float shorter. And it's if you can tell, it's not level anymore. So I let it go too far. Why put a tree in wire? Looks like it quit. It's it's finished running now. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna tie it down a little short. It's a little too tall. You can see how that it's, you know, this is level. So I'm gonna tie it down a little further. Cans are just gonna come over here. You know, they slop water everywhere. One thing I saw somebody do is they got old tractor tires and they cut them. Uh, and they, they cut, you know, cut the sidewall out and they cut that in half and they put that around. So the calves don't come up and just pack mud mm -hmm. all around. So they put that on the ground. That Greg Judy does that. So I'm gonna copy that and this is a, copy off of what it is he had a blue barrel on there and he had little handles on there and it's what he put his job float in nice work. and free uh job cost about 75 bucks after getting mailed here and then uh the coupler cost about 14 to 15 dollars the female end and the male end cost like eight bucks so 
and I have six water points, so this is gonna be water point over and over and over again. If you try to put like a, a hydrant in there, you're gonna spend tons of money. So uh, you'll go broke trying to put hydrants in. I, I couldn't have done that doing doing six hydrants. So I got this here. It'll work great. All right. Well, thank y'all. Uh, like and subscribe. Share with people. And uh, this is Wayne Struby with Family Acreage Farm signing out. Daddy, why say bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. bye.